In this video, I will show you how machine learning saved me a lot of time in rotoscoping. Believe me, without this, in my experience, you will have a hard time in rotoscoping. Hi everyone, this is Daizen. Welcome to my channel. In this channel, we are doing simple yet clever stuff without any complexity, especially in these days. So, if you don't know me, I'm doing this crazy face VFX stuff and 3D stuff. This is the work. <laughs> so, a while ago, I did this, you see? And I did a breakdown. You can see it in here. Let me show you how I did this. So, as you can see, this is our footage, you see, this is the raw footage, and I rendered that from Houdini Karma, so, you see, I tracked the head, and this is the render, if you wondering how I, uh, how I did that, we have uh, tons of this premium tutorial, you can see it, and as you can see, this is the result, I tracked it, and I uh, did the lighting, match lighting, so, in here, I am reformatting this, and I'm merging that as a, a foreground. You see, this is our result. That's amazing. You see, that's cool. So the problem is I want these branches, you see, in front of my CG result, my 3D result, you see. So how can I do that? This is, this is so challenging and it should be easy because I have 300 frames. So I began to do that. So typically in Nuke, we go with a roto node and we doing this roto, for example. Just I want to show you how miserable this roto scoping is. So as you can see, for example, I did this one branches. So I did a pre mold. As you can see, we have this single branch. And of course, this is easy. You can do another merge. And you can merge that on top of the result you see that's simple breakdown of my situation that's why i need so another there's something feathering and yeah this is uh, our autoscoping but you see we have a lot of branch of course we have 300 frame but with these branches boy that will be a nightmare honestly so I did that honestly without any thinking so i did uh, this rotoscoping but the problem is i didn't have time for animating that frame by frame you see so that's my problem and you see this is a lot honestly so i looked for the alternative or some solution online the first one come to my mind is plane tracker because I want to stabilize the image or the movement and doing our autoscoping for one frame and then matching our movement. So I did that with a plane tracker. You see, I need half of the face. And as you can see, this is our result. And in here, I can go with stabilization uh, as the result. And let me show you what I have. Boom. <laughs> this is not good <laughs> because my movement it's kind of complex so this is will not work this is plain tracker so based on my knowledge it's not going to work so another solution i consider is 3d projection 3d pro projection you see this is our tracked head using keen tools we will show you that in the breakdown of course and i could do that with the projection and 3d stuff and uh, convert that to alpha and painting that manually so that will be another hard thing to do so i didn't have time for that honestly so in these days everyone talking about ai and machine learning so i said to myself why not let's see nuke have any solution for that and turns out we have copycat this powerful node boy 
that saved my life let me show you how you see we have ground truth and input in uh, copycat you see this is input and this is the ground truth ground truth is the target that's what you want so let me show you the thing is in rotoscoping you need a frame range to set that in one frame and you need frame hold this is the input for copycat you see for example i did the first frame and i did a rotoscoping for the first frame as a ground truth as a target so uh, that's what i did and i did another frame hold because the movement is kind of complex for example this frame and this is our rotoscoping so i then append this clip together so we have two frame now you see we have this one and this one as a reference and i did another frame as a reference you see i did a more frame more you can do with this frame you will have better result let me show you and this is all the frame with a rotoscoping and alpha channel so now we will go that with the input you see the input has alpha we don't need that because copycat will uh, not work so i did a remove node and i changed that to, to keep and we keeping only the rgb without any alpha another hand for ground truth we need to convert this alpha to the rgb so i used sh shuffle node and i connect alpha to all uh, sorry alpha to all these channels you see now if i show you that we have that you see alpha and all this channel and after that i create another remove and i need just red channel from this rgb so i did that with the keep and only rgb red you see this is the target and this is the input long story short this is how copycat working so in here of course we need a folder for all this messy file copycat will create and this is our epoch something like that so i uh, set that to 400 uh, 4, 000, sorry and i use this default setting yeah that's good for me and i hit start training and as you can see this is training a uh, chart as you can see this is the input this is the ground truth and this is the output and it will show you the preview and we will waiting for this training and this chart is better when it's less noisy and as you can see while we're waiting if you like this kind of video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content i will appreciate it guys and after a while as you can see the training is done so after the training usually we will create this influencer from copycat and the influencer it's the result and this will apply the result and i connect that to the input and i'm usually writing this result because influencer it's so heavy to read so so heavy to work with so i read this result and as you can see boom we have something you see that nice so we have rgb let's turn that turn that to alpha you see that we create this copy and uh, with this shuffle node and i connect rgb uh, sorry red to the alpha and as you can see we have alpha now so i copy that to the input and i promote that you see and let me show you the result and boom without doing anything frame by frame all that it's by machine learning you see we have some error of course and this is simple to fix rather than doing that frame by frame wow that saved me a lot of time thank you foundry for this copycat you see and this is how got in here you see that's amazing honestly and this is the result of course and you see you need to use copycat and machine learning in these days that will save you a lot of time so with that i hope you enjoy this one that was my story in rotoscoping and big shout out for these amazing people supporting me on my 
website subscription thank you guys i appreciate it and more is coming goodbye